Hi Pisces, welcome back guys. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be a quick read for you guys. Anybody with Pisces placement in their chart, wherever they are in your chart, this reading could be um, significant to you. There could be messages here for you. Okay, so let's see Pisces. Let's see, let's tap in. What is going on for the Pisces Collective? Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces Spirit. What do you want Pisces to hear and know? All right, so we have Imagine, number 20. Okay, so bottom of the deck, happy, happy. Who has that Leo, Taurus? Could be dealing with either one of those signs. So Imagine just gives me something about your dream state could be significant. You, you could be having dreams here. You're a good visualizer too, so you know how to manifest using your mental, okay? That's exactly how you manifest, actually. One of the best ways to do so. All right, by visualizing. So something about your dream state could be significant. You need to maybe journal your dreams. All right, um, you could be thinking about something here. Let's see what this is for you. Page 76. Okay, yeah, turning imagination, yeah, into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imaginary, I mean, imagery and feelings, creativity and illusions. Okay, so it says, who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. Okay. So I like this card. So let's see. Let's see what this is for you here. Um, Pisces. I'm about to call you Scorpio. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Scorpio. 212 on the timer. So really be careful about what you're thinking about right now. Positive thoughts only. Okay. Positive thoughts only. Don't be sitting here thinking about the worst. <laughs> okay. Because you're going to manifest the worst. All right. Let's see, what is Imagine right here for Pisces? What is Imagine for Pisces? Okay, wow, Ace of Pentacles. So what you're manifesting is a new offer here. This could be in the form of something material. It could be a home, a car, more money, a raise, a promotion. I feel like it's coming in. Whatever you're manifesting or daydreaming about or whatever the fuck, it's coming. <laughs> okay, um... This is the, the beginning of a solid foundation being built for you, or you're getting ready to build a solid foundation. This could be a business, okay? You could be becoming an entrepreneur, or like I said, if you have a career already, this could be a raise, a promotion, or whatever. But something that's going to be long-lasting and solid with the Ace of Pentacles is manifesting. What else? There's a divine opportunity coming in for you. For um, What else for Pisces? Okay, just saw the High Priestess. What else? Okay, five of wands. So there, there's a challenge here trying to get to this. There could be fights and shit about money or stability. Someone could have a Leo um, Saturn. What else for Pisces? There could be some competition here. Some of you guys could be working in a competitive field. It doesn't have to be the temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Someone could have a Scorpio Mars. So there, there's, there's some competition, okay? There's fighting, there's this challenge here, there's a battle or just unnecessary drama that's going on. Okay, it's like people are trying to steer you off of your path or whatever you're trying to manifest for yourself, okay? There's like sadness or pain. There's something about this past. Spirit is trying to offer you a new opportunity. So like I said, there's a need to declutter your, your mental, your mind. There could be fights and shit or something from the past that you keep thinking about arguing fighting maybe just the things that you've just been through or just recently went through or something but it's something from your past that you're looking at that you need to take your focus off of all right because something new is trying to come in for you but you keep thinking about something that happened that was bad okay or it could it could be going on so i mean it could be harder to kind of like forget about it especially if it's happening right now in the present but it's creating conflict here with your dreams your your manifestations that's trying to come in for you 
Let's see. So the Five of Cups, yeah. What, what's the Ace of Pentacles? 9.49 on the clock. A blessing, happiness. Yeah, something is coming in that's going to make you happy. This could be a key to a new home, a new place, or you just found the key to your success here. Okay, um, what else for Ace of Pentacles with the uh, blessing card? Changes at a soul level. Yeah, so a transformation with this butterfly. Yeah, then there's groupies and shit around you that are delusional, that's trying to like get in the way of your happiness. I feel like you're really trying to transition here. So it's just hard for you to stay balanced, stay focused possibly, or this is somebody else. Maybe you're getting this. This is somebody else maybe going through this or somebody else that's sad because you're just moving towards new. You have something bigger and better coming in. And I feel like there's people that like are maybe fighting over you or want you or I don't know, just you could be like tussling with some people because they don't want to come to terms with what the reality of a situation is. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, you want bigger, you want better, you deserve it. What's the five of wands? So people are going to try to fight you while you're trying to like transition, move on, move away. New door opening. Yeah, it looks like you're getting a new home here. You're trying to manifest a new home or something like that. But you could be thinking about an argument or a fight. You could be actually scared to move away or something like that. But there's definitely a new door opening for you that you need to take to regardless of whatever this is. What else for the five of wands with the new door opening? What you doing? Un uneventful text. What is this what you doing? What do they want? Because it looks like they're trying to fight or argue. Yeah, separating. Yeah, somebody that you're leaving behind. You don't want to be with their ass. Because they have jealous ass ways. <laughs> yeah, somebody is like leaving someone behind here for a brand new opportunity. So they're mad, they're fighting. Yeah, somebody wants to fight, whatever. What's the five of cups? So somebody here keeps, some of y'all need to block somebody. Okay, for some of you, maybe you have kids with these people. I know that could be a little complicated situation, but if you do, go to court, okay? You'll be able to block this person through court, all right? Or have them, have you guys, um, you can do the whole thing where you can talk through a parenting app, a co-parenting app that they have set up so you can feel safe. So this person can stop like harassing you or whatever the fuck if y'all have children. But if you don't, definitely maybe, I don't know, get a protective order or something like that. What's the five of cups? Joking, clowning, not taking it serious. Okay, what's the five of cups with joking and clowning? So somebody here is in regret about playing around with you, not being, not taking things serious broke yeah now they're sitting up here broke <laughs> bottom of the deck is famous some of you guys could be seen in a public eye okay here you could be famous you could be known yeah now somebody's in regret popping up reaching out yep so this person is going to be reaching out to you here there's somebody that's watching you possibly because you're in a public eye there's new things that are happening in your life and i feel like somebody else is stuck with somebody else or in another situation they're fighting and arguing with this person and I feel like spirit is trying to present this person with a new opportunity or present you with one. I feel like you're taking yours. Okay, I don't even feel like that's your energy. I feel like there's fighting and shit going on with somebody that you know, that knows other people or something like that. But yeah, while this person was playing around and things like that, you were busy growing up, manifesting. No, oh, I didn't skip the deck. So let's see, let's pull some self-care oracles. But now they're sitting up here and regret. They're like, damn, I, I know if I would have went towards Pisces or chose Pisces or whatever the fuck, I wouldn't be sitting up here broke and arguing with this bitch right here. <laughs> like, I feel like somebody's like thinking about that shit heavy. They're sad. They wasn't taking you serious and took the wrong bitch serious or took the wrong opportunity serious or something like that. And I feel like you sitting over here balanced, you're happy. All right, bottom of the deck, we have number 28, intuition. Okay, and then we have number 34, massage. Okay. So let's see. What is on number 34? Let's see. Some of y'all need to go to the spa here or get a massage. You could be having, yeah, like lower back pain for some of you. So it says bodies love to be touched. Massages are a vital part of self-care because most people live with some amount 
of discomfort. Sometimes specific places in our body scream out for attention through pain, while others make more subtle requests through stiffness and limited mobility. Before you start a massage, scan your body from head to toe. Feel into the areas where you're holding tension. Set the intention of releasing your physical and emotional discomfort during the massage. If it's within your budget, book a massage with a professional as a royal treat for yourself. Alternatively, create a relaxing space at home with subtle lighting, aromatherapy, and candles, and by setting an intention. Massage your hands and feet, exploring reflexology techniques or your own intuitive movements. You can also ask a loved one if they'd like to exchange massages with you. Remain mindful throughout the process and see what comes up for you on the physical, emotional, and spiritual level as you give and receive the gift of touch. So your journal prompt is, what part of your body needs a massage right now? So some of y'all could be massaging your intuition. Maybe you guys need to do some like intuitive practices. I don't know if you have tarot decks, play around with your cards here, do intuitive exercises. Maybe look up some online, look up some on YouTube or something like that. But some of y'all do have neck pain, foot pain, back pain, all kind of shit that you possibly need to. 11, 11 on the timer. You need to go get, get a massage here. You just need to go get something to relax yourself. Okay. Yeah. So this was your reading Pisces. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Pisces.